10 minutes with Memphis 10 on 93.7 to beat. Got Houston's own world boxing champion, Rocky Warriors. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, guy? Rocky, you had a big fight on Monday night. You want to talk about it real quick? Yeah, I mean, basically it is what, what it is, man. It was a tough fight. You know, it was uh, a title eliminator fight for the WBC mandatory shot at Johnny Gonzalez. Uh, unfortunately, we came out short and uh, we went in there and, you know, gave it gave it everything I had and, you know, came out short on, and, uh, you know, so that was that. And, and uh, as soon as after the, as soon as the bout was over, you know, I announced my retirement. All right, so we'll jump into your retirement, but first let me back up so people that's watching this know a little bit about you. You from Houston, yes? Uh, born and raised here in Houston, Texas. Uh, was raised on the uh, uh, north side of area. Uh, went to uh, you know Marshall Middle School with Jeff Davis, uh, and still reside in the north side. So yeah. All right, so how'd you get into boxing? Well, I started boxing when I was uh, nine years old. Um, at the time, I was playing baseball. You know, my whole family, we all played baseball. It was, baseball was a family sport. But the only, the only other fighter in the family was my grandfather, my father's father, who got me into the sport at the age of nine. But uh, I didn't like it. You know, I really didn't care for it. But my grandfather, in the years growing up, my grandfather always taught me the basics of boxing. And uh, it just seemed like I was the only uh, grandkid that actually paid attention, that actually listened. And... Uh, Shortly after, man, and you know, I kind of got back into boxing at the age of 12, and I had my first amateur fight, and you know, I actually won. And I think with that victory, that first fight is what a lot what what would enable me to continue uh, pursuing boxing, and uh, that's that's where my career started. Right, fast forward to the Olympics, man. How'd you how'd you get all the way to the Olympics? Which, man, you got to keep winning. That's how you get there, man. You know, uh, I believe leading up to the uh, final fight in the Olympics when I won a silver medal, I had uh, 67 consecutive victories leading up to that final fight. So uh, I was on a win streak, man, you could say. All right, so then you turned pro. Talk right. about your first, your first title fight going into uh, as the challenger and the fight that you won to win the belt. Talk about that first fight. How was your feelings? How was your attitude? How was your hunger to drive? Talk about that first fight. My first title fight? Yeah. Um, my first title fight, man, I, um, my first title fight was against Marco Antonio Barrero, you know. I remember when I got the call, um, I had moved up, I had moved up in weight for the first time in my career to 130 pounds That's when I fought at super featherweight. Yeah. Um, I was, uh, I started my career at 126, but so when I got the call, they offered me to fight. Hey, would, would you be interested in fighting Marco Antonio Barrera for the uh, WBC Championship of the World? And I was like, I remember um, like it was yesterday. I remember being in the in the gym, and my coach called me into the into his office and told me, you know, this is what popped up, this is what came up, and uh, what do you, well, how do you feel about it? I remember the feeling of uh, excitement. I remember the uh, feeling of some sort of uh, fear, you could yeah. say, you know, because, you know, I was going up against a guy who was already considered a legend in boxing that was still in the game. Yeah. So when we got that call, man, I just, you know, I told myself, you know, let's do it, you know, let's go for it. And right. um, So you won the title. How did life change after you won the, you won the title? Well, when I won, which, which one, what are you talking about? Because uh, there is yeah. other... The very first title that you won, how did life change going from, from unknown to world champion? Um, well, there's different titles that I have won, but I guess really it was never really the belt that, you know, the title. It, it was uh, how you could, there was, there were some fights that I didn't even won a world title that I felt like I won a world title. You know, for instance, when I fought um, Chelo Diaz, Chelo Diaz uh, here in Houston, it wasn't it wasn't a title fight, but uh, I knocked him out in the tenth round, the final round, and just the way the uh, being here in my hometown in Houston, Texas, we uh, the, the way the crowd supported and, and and just kind of exploded when I knocked him out in the last in the last round. You know that was a a sense of of, of uh, winning the title at that moment, and when I had 
stopped uh, Jorge Barrios in the 11th round here in Houston, Texas at the Toyota Center, you know, in front of 15,000 people, man. It was just, it was uh, an unbelievable feeling at the, at the time. All right, so as your career goes on, you got a lot of ups, you got some downs. You get to the point where you, you, you're 34 years old, and, and you come up to this fight that you just had this Monday night. Going into the fight, your attitude was win and keep going or lose and, and end it. What was your attitude to, to bring us here today? Well, my feeling was go uh, put everything on the line, you know, win and, and, and uh, win. That was, my, that was my attitude, you know. I, I had to went into that fight knowing that this was a, a possible chance to have the opportunity for the WBC gold belt if I had won that fight, you know, and we trained hard. My team, you know, I did everything right. Um, it just seemed like it just wasn't in my favor. So, um, you know, I, I, I kind of, you know, I know it's just, it, it's still fresh, you know, it's still fresh. And uh, as you can tell, I can see uh, a black guy, my, my black guy on, on the screen, but I have to ask you about the black guy, man. Oh man, it's 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 it it, it gives me character, I guess you could say. You know, it's uh, well, I, it's cool. Let me go know? ahead and ask. Let me go ahead and ask you for the people that's watching. Like, man, yeah, he 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 looked like he lost the fight. So you got the black guy, you got the cuts, you got some swollen going on. As a fight fan, I give you mad respect for for even stepping in there, because I mean, I, I don't have the, I don't have the courage to get in there and do it. But for 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 fans and for people who think they can do the sport, or for up and coming people, talk about the losses, man. Talk about the bumps and the bruises that you get, because it ain't it ain't all Mayweather like, you know. Oh yeah, man. You know, um, you know, I'm sure Mayweather. Did, you you said Mayweather, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, man. I, I trust me. It's it's just part of the sport, man. It, it's what comes with it. It's what comes with the territory, you know. Um, boxing is something that uh. It's a passion of mine that I've been doing since uh since I was since I was a kid, and uh, you kind of learn to live with the bumps and bruises because you know that's what comes with it, you know. But I guess uh, the uh, the 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 mountain top is basically the the win, yeah. you know. That's the mountain top. So the feeling of uh of victory is basically the feeling that you want to feel at the end of the fight, whether or not you you got bumps. Bruises, you know, everything goes away uh, in right. time. You know, it's just it, you, you heal up eventually. So, your last question about your career: What was what was your toughest fight? And then we're gonna get into the future. Well, maybe my last fight was probably one of my toughest fights. You know, it, I could say my last fight was you know being down. Um, I want to say two times. It was three times I was down in the last final round, but two times was they were actual knockdowns. Uh, one time I consider it. Um, not a knockdown, but um, that was probably uh, one of my toughest fights, my last fight, you know. And I, and, and I think uh, I showed uh, a lot of will to continue and, and, and carry on and keep keep giving effort and trying to win the fight, you know. So, right. um, but I've had a lot of tough fights, man. I've had uh, 42 fights total and prof professionally, yeah. and um, I fought against the best fighters out there and. Um, I've had a lot of I've had a lot of tough fights in my career. All right, so so looking to the future, because I, I got this saying, man, you need to not be as loyal to your past as you are to your future. So what's next for Rocky? Well, you know, I uh, I'm hoping to basically we, I've been working on having having my own gym, you know, opening up my own gym here in Houston, Texas, um, giving back uh, to kids who 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 want to join the sport of boxing, you know, but uh, not necessarily just boxing, you know, it kind of, you know, I, I know boxing has taught me, it's been my livelihood, but it, it's, it's also taught me uh, a lot of things in life, you know, uh, as far as hard work, what the hard work can get you and, and uh, perseverance and, uh, you know, you, you'll get, you'll get back what you put in, basically. Or uh, any chance that you jumping in the media, man, TV, radio, movies? Oh, definitely, man. That's something. That's something I I, I definitely look forward to. Uh, hope, 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 hopefully doing in the in the future. You know, I would love to maybe get on the mic and commentate on some fights in the 
you know, on, on the big screen TV where I don't have to be taking the punches, uh, <laughs> but I could actually just be on the outside looking in. Uh, I got this thing I want to do. I want to call it a rapid fire, man. I'm going to just ask you questions. You just answer it honestly as you can. All right, let's start with one easy. You ready? Shoot. All right, Super Bowl, who wins tomorrow? Oh, man, I, I say Seahawks. Yeah, Seahawks. Next question, who, who's your it girl in the industry? Who's the hottest woman in TV music? The it girl, man. Got E. She might be watching Rock. She might see the bumps and the bruises, so you got her back. Who you got? Uh, Man, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to say, uh, uh, what's that? What's that girl who? Uh, man, you got oh, me, man. Got got I know I'm supposed to be quick. I'm supposed to be quick, but God, I can't. I can't even think of one right yeah. now, bro. Yes, that man. All right, how about this? Steak or chicken? Steak dinner or chicken dinner? Steak, all Steak. day. Movie, movies or amusement park? Movies. Movies? What kind of movies rock like? Oh man, any kind of movie. Scary, you know. Hey, I got it. I got a, a, a sensitive. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's, the, what's that word? Uh, what, what, what girls are? What, was that a? What's that uh? What's that word? Girls use a lot. Um, not sens sensitive. It's something sensitive. I know that. Um, Beats me. I, I watch all kind of movies, man. Hey, it don't matter to me as long as it's good. That's what it is. Who's your Who's your, Who's your favorite rapper in the game right now? My favorite, my favorite, my favorite rapper. Oh man, come on, man, hold on, man. Uh, you know, I, I I like old school, man. I mean, I'm more of old school. I got a old, I got a legend. I know y'all watching. I got a legend right here in the game behind me. OG Ron C. Behind me. Ron C. In the game right now, man. What's going on, man? Pleasure meeting you, bro. Everybody, OG Ron C. Who, who's out there? Everybody need to be watching out for, man. Up and coming. Up and coming. Who's the hottest out there right now? And up and coming. From our city, uh, we got a we got a pretty good move to go right now. So I'd say I'd say uh, Sauce Twins, BQ, Chose, Cheddar, and Camille. But that's what it is. Y'all heard it from OG Ron C. Ten minutes with Memphis Ten. Hey, check it out real quick. Uh, Rocket, shout out your Twitter, your Instagram. How can people get at you if you want to learn about the sport of boxing? Talk about the kids that you wear. I know you with uh, ATR. At Rock, yeah. at Rocky Boxing. At Rocky Warriors Boxing. Um, you know, I'm Rocky Warriors on Facebook. You know. Um, and it, it, it's rare that I get on, man. I know I need to get on. I need to get more, uh, more, uh, more, more on. Uh, like, where you training? With, where you training at down at, uh, in Houston? Where am I training? Yeah, where, where you when you when you when you are active? Where you training at? Where, where's the gym to go to? I go to Ray's Boxing Gym uh, in the North Side in, in, in Houston. No, Ray's Boxing Ray's Boxing Club off of uh, off of North Main and Brooks. That's what it is. People follow Rocky Warriors. I think it's at Rocky Warriors Box on Twitter and Instagram. Rocky, much respect to you, man. Great career. I'll be looking forward to seeing your fights on YouTube and, and watching you train the next champion, man. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me, dude. All right, I appreciate it. Don't hang up. Don't hang yeah. up.